Yo, what's up, 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 guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time I'm going to share with you guys the two bench hardware, Santa Sponge. And uh, I got this from your Dollar Tree, guys, for a dollar. It's a Santa Sponge. It's medium to fine grit. Use wet or dry. Rinse and reuse. Man, this 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 was this what's up. Now they're coming out with a lot of new technology stuff. Now I don't know how long these been out, but the Santa blocks. I, I remember just using when I was doing body work, you know, like years ago. Uh, the only thing I remember is um, you use like a sanding block and you wrap the sandpaper around the block, you know, and uh, go from there. It was like a block. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. But now, like I said, these could have been out. You know, get out of here, man. They could have been out. I just don't know it. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I just never heard talk of it before. But maybe you guys have. But anyway, I'm going to share it with you anyway. And um, to come right out of your Dollar Tree. And as you know, this car right here this is what I've been working on here for the past couple of days. And it needs sanding. And we're going to sand a little area here. Just to see how this sanding sponge really worked. If it worked great, I go back to the Dollar Tree and pick up two, three more of them. Because um, I like trying new stuff. Alright, so let's further ado, man. Let's get into it. Let's slide it up out of the little package that it come in. Work it right up out of there. I'm working with one hand here, guys. Need to get me a tripod together. That's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to slide this thing on out for you guys. Like so. There we go. And I don't know what this is. Let's see, this is the fine side. Yeah, it's two different sides. I think this is more the final side, and this is more the coarse side. This is the, fine, this is the coarse side, and this is the fine side. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the fine side, guys. Here we go. Oh man, it works great. I tell you what, guys, you learn something new every day, doesn't it? <laughs> and that's about all you really would need to do, you know. I could use a couple of these for my truck. Now that I see how they work, you know. And all that interesting pain is this hood on this car in the top. Okay. I just want to hit it in the areas just to show you guys how it works. And it's saying what I like about it, it said just rinse it out. Keep on using it. Oh my god, it's and it's slick. It's super slick. I already got my paint, guys. I picked up my paint the other day from Walmart. So I don't think I do get me some plastic. Masked off the fenders, the front end and the other fender over there in my windows, and shoot this hood. You guys will see when I shoot it. Because I, I don't even want to drive it around like this. I want it to look better than this when I drive it around. I spent around town with it just to drive it out. But a couple days ago, I drove it around town. You know, but I don't feel comfortable driving it with the hood faded all out like this. I like my stuff to look pretty good. And um, they're just like the size. The size ain't too bad. It's pretty straight on the size. It's just the hood and the top. Okay. Uh, uh, let's finish this with it do here. Oh, yeah. Put your little elbow grease in it. It works great. I got to go back to my Dollar Tree and pick up some more of these guys. I only picked up one. I didn't know they were going to work so good. Better than sandpaper. That's for sure. Yeah, this is better than sandpaper in my opinion. The sandpaper, you can't, it'll just kind of go to your hand when you're sanding with your hand unless you're using the block. See how slick at making it? Okay, look, you check this out. And just by sanding it, it makes it look better. 
and actually smoothing it out, as you can see. Basically, that whole hood has got to be sanded smooth, just like that. It's got to be sanded smooth. You don't want a half step because your hood is one of the parts of your car that you really see a lot. First thing you see is your hood area of the vehicle. So you want that sanded extra good. But I just want to share this with you guys. If y'all never heard of it, I hadn't really. I'm used to the sanding block where you wrap your sandpaper around the block and sand. But a lot of technology stuff coming out. Like I said, I don't know how long it's been out. But it's my first time working with one, and it's called a sanding sponge. I don't think it's been out that long. But it got a good cut to it, guys. Y'all know me. I share. This is the coarse side. This is the fine side. Let's try it on the coarse. Here we go. This is the coarse side. Try fast and cut on the coarse side. See here, guys. You can hear the coarseness in it. See here. See that? It cuts super hard and super fast. You see how fast it cut that paint off there? That's the core side. I should have bought the whole rack of these if I know they were this good. Must go back to your Dollar Tree. Must. They be having some pretty good two handy tools in there, guys. I tell you. Boy, this works good. Well, and I tell you, they be having some handy stuff up in there. Yes, they do. All right. Well, I don't want to hold you guys too long, but it works great. Oh, yeah. Works very good, as you can see. And this is the core side, because you can hear the sound of it more more cut to it oh yeah it's ready here yeah. and then you can just oh you can use this wet or dry so basically you can take the fine side of this and uh so right here you can use wet or dry rinse and reuse so basically, water sanding with it if you want to. That's what I'm thinking. You take that bad baby and water sand it, and you got you good to go. It look better just by sanding that chipped up paint off. See that? That look a whole lot better right there. Smoother. See? That thing works amazing. Like I said, I just tried it out because I really didn't know that it was gonna be that good, cause I never heard of it. But I tell you what, it cuts out a lot of that sandpaper nowadays. You could buy you four or five of them and you could do a job. Three, four of them, I do my whole truck. Then I just get a fine piece of sandpaper, like a thousand, fifteen hundred grit, that's the water sand we wet or dry sandpaper. I get a real fine for water sanding and spray it. Pick a wet the ground. You got to wet everything down, guys, before you paint. We wet everything real good with the water hose. What that does, settle the dust in the area that you paint in. You got to wet the ground down, like around here. You got to saturate everything around you so one of the dust come up. Within about 15 feet from you. You got to wet everything 15 feet from the car, at least. So one of the dust fly up to your paint. The wind would it come up, won't no dust fly out. It won't be close to your car. So you got to saturate everything with water. Wet the ground real good. But yeah, I just want to share that with you guys, man. It's a Dollar Tree um, tool bench, sanding sponge. Y'all know I share everything with you. Works great, guys. You see how fast it cut that paint off there? 
and I just did it it's just a little sand well, I got more to do but let's good start showing you guys what the deal is anyway I hope you guys enjoy geese for ideals some of you guys can pick up these sand and sponges if you're new to my channel don't forget to comment rate and subscribe these things made very solid as well they made very solid and um don't forget to comment and rate man Drop them comments below. Tell me what's your opinion about this sand and sponge. Don't forget to subscribe either, man. Definitely not. And share my videos with your family and friends. Till next time, man. You guys take care. I'm going to finish sanding my ride. i hit y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.